Tanzania and Finland. You guys are here from Tanzania. Yeah. Uh, Tans ICT, if you might know. Tans ICT is a bilateral project between Tanzania and Finland. You can I work in it. And uh, part of the program, a small part is that we have a little bit of money for startup funding. And it's been somewhat loosely defined in our project document how it should be spent. But it's money for ideas or, or demos or pilots something, but it hasn't been very clearly defined for whom and how and how much and what, like, what are the rules of the fund. And that's something that we have to define. And we'll do it jointly with Postec, who is also, we've been talking about maybe creating a basket fund later and to other funders, but we thought it would be good to get feedback from you as possible in the user community for our fund to find out what do you think makes sense in terms of who, who should be able to get the funding and should it be a loan or a grant or a soft loan or a grantee for a loan or a combination of these or like a living allowance while you're working on a business idea and different things. So what we did now is to we there's whiteboards on the other space which is there and we wrote some of these things on the whiteboards and uh, after this round we would like you to go there and comment on some of them what you think is a good idea and what you think is a bad idea and what we haven't thought of and anything that comes to mind. This one promised to reflect on some experiences and thoughts on some of the models that have already been tried. You can uh, believe him or not, like, like all, all we already heard, you don't always have to believe the guy who says he knows from his experience, but we'll at least make his opinions available to you. Yeah, uh, it's just to share the experience of uh, uh, these countries in terms of supporting uh, innovation because we had a long term time of supporting uh, research and development but uh, very fortunately now we have a wise director general who looks into these things in a wider perspective and now we look into financing not only R&D activities which generates technologies to the level of prototype but rather taking those technologies to the market. And of course, the idea is not only to have businesses running in the country and generating income, avoiding importing technologies, but also solving the existing social economic problems. And, and in this aspect, of course, the ICT has a much bigger role to play because there's much diverse applications of ICT in solving social economic pro 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 problems in terms of communicating uh, issues and solving other aspects of problems. So in this aspect, we are looking into establishing an innovation grant or innovation fund. And as Christina was saying, in collaboration with Tanz ICT, we will have the ICT component of the grant. But uh, as I was also speaking to the Director General a few minutes ago, we have other aspects or other components of the same grant. So we will have collaboration with the Canadian organizations for the grant challenge to support the health aspects of the same uh, kind of innovation activities. And we also have the, from the other aspects, looking for other donors and partners. So uh, our side will, also, will only or maybe more or less good for the uh, ICT aspect. But modalities and uh, the schemes of managing the grants, uh, what will it be? Of course, we are still gathering your ideas and views. And there are many ways of financing innovation, as we are saying, including just loan guarantees like the bank looks for collaterals from you so as to give you loan, but you just give them guarantee they don't have to ask a lot for you and then give you loan. Or maybe just grants coming to you, uh, supporting your own finance in terms of you as an entrepreneur and then you move on with your business. So many, many, many aspects. So uh, as she was saying, you go to the table and see how uh, all these things work and the pros and cons of each aspect. Unless if the Director General also has something to add with the financing innovation at cost of Yes, I think today it was very entertaining for me first to listen to Fedus. And uh, did they see that it, this country has a lot of Feduzes to use very far in the next few years. It was very encouraging. I was so excited also to listen to Masu. But he started very well. Actually, when you could see that he's the person who has gone into the innovation school, well, remember what he started is, first of all, I mean, Ferruzzi has all the vocabularies. He has modified everything in a very simple language, and this is really what I appreciate very much. And if you go to Silicon Valley, you find all the languages which Ferruzzi, all the terms which Ferruzzi used, 
you find that the same terms which are Silicon Valley is actually using. But what is exciting is also what uh, Maisha Plus uh, has said. You remember, actually, he started by saying that uh, first he went, he used these two words, which is not very common. I was really surprised him using these words, creativity and innovation. And you, these, these are the issues which uh, uh, it's not very common to find people using these terms. It's very common you go to Finland, which is an innovative country, you go to Silicon Valley, you find this. But then Masudi talked about the failures. People don't have money. Now you, you have heard about the bottom billion. This is the new concept which is growing. And it's very common to our countries. But what we need to do is, uh, we believe that people don't have money. If you go, for example, to Yanguan, you just found the number of TV to Yanguan. You find people have TV when you have the money. <laughs> <laughs> you get the money. Yeah. It's just that when people are making products, they are actually thinking about those who but there are also other, especially in our countries, there are also other people who are making products which are affordable to us. And a good example is the nano car in India. Remember, the nano cars in India, actually, the story of nano car was started by the motorcycle, people are riding the motorcycle, and have three or four years by a Mishkaki. You know this Mishkaki business. Then they said, no, the fall of Tata. said, no, no, if people can afford a motorcycle, you can take your family and three children in a motorcycle. It means you may be able to afford a car which is very small. So the, the challenge for the Tata was who is going to make a car which is smaller, which is more cost effective. And this is what basically China is doing. It's trying to look at those processes, try to simplify the process and use the cost of making products so that those prices can be affordable. To our, to our people. So now, uh, about for Donald Trump, you just go and meet another one on bottom billions, Prahalani, then you'll find out the solution. But he has also been very successful because um, he started with without nothing. It's not even an angel fund. When we talk about the innovation, we talk about uh, we don't have funding simply because we don't have angel funds and most of the startups cannot go to the bank to get the loans. Also, you guys who are incubated here in Gaia, he has a good ideas, but he cannot go to the bank and get the loan. So what we are trying to do with the Tanz ICT is to fill that gap. We try to see how can we get you know, not only financial resources, that's just another reason for the failure. Most of the, if you look at the 90% of the companies, our companies are failing within the first five years. And this is simply because that they are, they are lacking financing, we don't have a yeah, business or, or entrepreneurial skills, we don't have a supportive environment. But you don't see people coming out of the poverty. It's simply because that they're actually missing a platform, where, a space where you have all these inter all these services being given in one place. And this is the reason for us we're thinking to start to establish incubation, and then incubation is the place where you'll be able to receive support of not only financing, business services, marketing, and then we also want to see to create an enabling environment for you to sell your product. For example, if you are incubating that we are trying to push into a new policy on science, technology, and innovation is to encourage the government to buy products from you guys. Because you cannot go for a procurement. You are not going to, you are not, you are not going to be competitive. How see you? But then how can we help you to get out, to start? Is actually to create a space for you within the government, which is maybe a government in the private sector, have sort of an incentive <coughs> for people to be able to buy your services so that you can be able to start. <coughs> and those, for those companies which have been well established, uh, Maisha, you have, for example, you have another one which is Max Malibu, no Max Malibu. Those are the companies which are very successful. But we want to do is actually to take them to the next step. Yeah? And uh, you remember two weeks ago, was it three weeks ago?
remember when Alison was here, was it? Alison Razor from South Africa. So this guy was running and he's in, he was running and he's running an incubator, he's the most successful incubator in Africa, where he assured that 95% of the companies which are going into his incubation program, they have at least 15% annual growth. This guy is extremely successful. So this is our responsibility is to ensure that those best practices are available close to the so that you can be able to, to, to do this. So I'm glad that we have TAS ICT, now which is starting on ICT. We are negotiating with the Canadian um, uh, government out of the Grand Challenge. They're coming, I think, on 26 of this month on how to convert ideas, products, into business. But this will be many of the health. Now we are starting on ICT. And in this one, we are also going to make a contribution both from the government and from the Tanzania city. If we show su success, I'm sure with all the problems of very many parts of our country, way near or then they'll be, be very happy to get this kind of support. You see, it's very easy for a woman to get a government, but if you ask this guy is coming from university, you have to get a job to very challenging. So this is what we want to address. This is one a knowledge-based industry to see how we can assist you to move forward. And I'm glad that uh, 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 Chris, uh, Christina is here to share this idea. So it would be really nice to hear from you. What do you really want? What do you want to get? Which kind of community we want you to say? I think it's really good that we're addressing this in a very informal way. Whereby nobody thinks that you are the director general, or you are the 